Greetings to all people of the Trans Noida International Film Festival 23. We are very happy and excited that our short 3D animated film, The Boy Who Heard the Silence, has been selected to participate in the official section of the festival. My brother Pedro and me are two fans of football and also of audiovisual art. So for many years we started working on the idea of create a short movie inspired by histories related with football. But at that time we were still very amateurs and we hadn't the tools and the skills to shape our ideas. So we continue training and working until we get the necessary skills to make that, that short movie. As I told you, we started with the idea many years ago, I think around 10 years ago, more or less. But at this time, any production required large equipment and long production times and of course a lot of money to do it and we have nothing of this over the years and the evolution of the technology have appeared in its software such as such as unreal engine and tools like rococo suite that have allowed us to develop with a small group of artists this short movie. Our short is the result of one year of work carried out by a team made up of researchers, scriptwriters, animators, and 3D modelers, experts in special effects, musicians, and experts in sound design and editing, creative producers, and executive producers plus the efficient financial management to be able to acquire the equipment and integrate various technologies to make a 3D animated short film using the Unreal Engine real-time work environment. The resources used to carry out this production are part of those obtained for the development of the animation and digitization company AD real time in the call for innovation innovative of the innovation secretariat of the Republic of Ecuador. This is our first high quality 3D animated film production. The biggest challenge was to create almost realistic characters to be able to transmit to the public all the emotions of our protagonist, especially the grandfather and the children. And this was so bit, compl bit complicated. Also, to the animation was a great challenge since we didn't have a great team of animators. But when Unreal launched MetaHuman Creator and Rococo put her customers on sale, we knew it. It was time to really start create our movie. But at the first, there was not so much information, so we have to develop our own workflows to integrate everything. To incorporate varied and powerful resources to combine fictional stories with the historical facts, which is why I consider that the final result was more spectacular than what had been projected in the beginning. Our target audience are soccer fans around the world, from age 13 and above, mainly men. But this is a universal story that has many layers and basically any person could enjoy. We have presented the short film to various festivals in countries such as France, Italy, Germany, Belgium, Korea, Brazil, India, Ecuador, Colombia, the United States, Portugal, and Spain. This short film is the teaser for the 3D animation series La Esferica about the history of football World Cup. We will this teaser in the main markets and animation fairs in Europe, United States, Latin America, and the United Arab Emirates. I think our film is a recipe that contains touch of fiction, history, magic, tenderness, pain, and hope 
which combined with patience and detail resulted in a fascinating story that is easy to savor. The message for all filmmakers is, is that if there is a story that is inside you and needs to be told, Feed that inner fire and don't stop fighting for it to grow. You will find a way to one day satisfy that need and become your movie. A big hug to all the filmmakers and to the organizers of the Ten Noida Film Festival. My best wish to you and for your team.